welcome back to the channel everybody today I have this these are cylinder liners these are from a DD15 engine so the problem of this engine was that it was consuming a lot of oil it was burning like one gallon every 1000 miles something like that so that was the problem so the solution was to repair the engine but that was the solution but that what was the real cause of the problem that is something that i had on my mind wondering what went bad on this uh, engine so today i'm going to study that case keep in mind that dd15 engines have the problem of the cylinder liners cool and leak if you remember then i show you in some of my videos then this part of the cylinder really breaks and start leaking water to the engine to the oil and that's another type of problem of the cylinder liner but in this case the cylinder liner has no problems at all in the area of the coolant leak it is just oil consumption higher oil consumption and that oil consumption won't get better that oil consumption will get worse and worse and worse with the time because of the time of driving this will happen eventually to all the trucks it will vary problems are going to vary depending here depending there some problems are going to be coolant leak some problems are going to be oil consumption so but today i'm going to explain the problem the specific problem with this dd15 engine and for that i have the six cylinders and i have the six pistons over here because it's a straight six you want to have six and six you need six six pistons and six cylinders the cylinders are the one that are in charge to keep the pressure uh seal the pressure of the uh of the engine and the pistons are the one that push the pressure up and down depending on how it's needed the head on top is the one that retains the pressure seal on top and that's how everything goes the cylinder and the piston and the head they're known as a combustion chamber all together that's the one thing is known as a combustion chamber if you wonder so all together is known as a combustion chamber that's where everything is uh cold the air the fuel the exhaust and everything everything happens in there because it is just like a chamber right the oil consumption usually happens from two areas of the engine it happens either from the head the one that goes on top this it has the cylinder valves over here the uh seals they go bad and start leaking oil in the combustion chamber here or the piston rings which are these ones right here these are the piston rings this this these are the piston rings of the piston these go bad over the time or the uh, cylinder goes bad in this case we have here the damage see this this is the damage so that means the cylinder is the one that has the damage you can clearly see over here this little line then goes straight down all the way this is the cylinder i mean the the ring the ring gap over here you can see clearly how it was going down it was pretty large because of the uh, wear of the piston and wear of the ring it was getting larger and larger and larger it has to be very small so uh this is the reason why it is consuming a lot of oil because all the oil then the uh, rings are retaining is going all the way down when the piston is going all the way down it's leaving all the oil behind all the oil is staying here and when the piston comes up again all the oil is stays here and it gets burned by the, by the by the combustion when it happens with the fuel and the air together and then the power happens and then goes down and it leaves oil again and then that's how it continues doing that so you can clearly see the damage so this is the reason why this engine was consuming a lot of oil in this case uh this one it has a normal wear this is a normal wear this part over here this is line over here this is normal after many years of use because this area is where the maximum amount of temperature pressure and everything happens here that's why you have this in a different color you see over here these lines these little uh, scratches over here all the scratches then go all the way down these are where when the uh, cylinder liner is new that's the way it looks so over here you see you don't see those scratches because everything is completely uh wear out so that's the reason why you don't see it see on this one the same way normal nothing wrong at all but if we go to the next one 
we have this damage over here. This is a large damage. You can clearly see how it looks. This area over here has a large damage in that little area because for some reason the cylinder liner went bad or something. Um, probably uh, the piston ring damaged it or simply the lubrication didn't work that well and start getting uh, damaged and it, it started damaging in this area and the oil start going to the top and start consuming the oil and it goes a little to the bottom see it's not that much as the first one we saw we have this other one over here the this one has a very large damage the same way see it looks like the other one we saw see these little lines over here just look completely destroyed and the damage goes all the way down see but the other one over here is in a good condition. It's normal, normal wear, nothing uh, special. So uh, this is how an engine that is consuming oil is going to look. If you you have an engine that is consuming a lot of oil, this is the way it's gonna look. The top area of the cylinder liner is gonna have a lot of wear. In the case of the piston rings, you can see it look, they, they look very shiny, see? They look very shiny because they have a lot of wear too. And uh, it is normal, I mean, okay, this part is normal to get a lot of wear because it's always in friction with the cylinder. This part is always in contact with the cylinder. So uh, it is normal to have this wear, but because the cylinder is having wear too, because uh, if you put this piston, it goes like this in here. So the area over here where you can see all this damage is where the, pist the piston rings are. So that's right, you have this much damage over here. So whenever the piston goes down, because this over here, this uh, ring over here, this is the oil uh, lubrication ring. So it leaves oil behind, so this and these get lubricated. So when this one goes down, because these two are not making enough pressure to hold the oil in place, they're releasing all the oil to the top of the piston over here and once it goes down all the oil is here and goes back up and it starts burning the oil so that's why this gotta be replaced with this one both of them gotta be replaced the piston and the cylinder liner gotta be replaced to fix this problem uh, and uh, that will fix the problem but that's very important then you understand what was the reason why this engine start burning a lot of oil because you can come and replace all these and later realized that it's not the uh, it's not the cylinders, it is not the piston, the one is burning oil, could be the turbo, could be something else. That's why you have to uh, understand from where the oil is getting uh, burned. Specifically, when you open the engine completely, you're gonna see this over here. You're gonna see the piston, the, uh, the liners and everything, and you're gonna see the damage that I show you. And that's how you want to notice how this uh, engine, how bad this engine was. And that's the reason why you have one gallon every 1,000 miles, which is really bad. So if we had the six cylinders, because in this case, we only have three cylinders that have very bad damage. But if we had six cylinders with the same damage, the oil consumption is going to be double. Probably it's going to be two gallons every 1,000 miles, which is going to be super bad. So, uh, uh, the, the another thing that I noticed when I was inspecting this is then the piston over here, you can clearly see the piston has this damage on the side. See this damage on the side? That means then this engine has been running in low RPMs with a high load. This happens when uh, the driver doesn't pay attention to the engine speed and they keep pushing the engine, hitting the accelerator pedal to increase the uh, speed of the engine. But this happens, then uh, the walls of the piston start hitting the walls of the cylinder on the side. And then you get a noise, then it, it, it sounds like a clack, uh, clack noise, clack noise. You, cl you cannot, you don't, you don't hear it that much on uh, diesel engines, but you can hear it better on the gasoline engines when you have low RPMs. So you, you have to prevent that. You have to prevent to have uh, low RPMs on these trucks because I've been seeing there is some guys, some drivers, then they uh, go on a driveway, on a, on you can say on a warehouse or something, and they don't 
low the, the range of the transmission, they keep it on high range. So uh, when they drop the low range, it's supposed to be the low gear, right? One, two, three, four, five. If it's 10 in speed, if it's uh, 13, it's going to be one, two, three, four. So uh, then you wanna have the six on the high gear. So they actually go inside the driveway on the number six and you can hear the engine doing noises and here and there i mean the engine is strong enough to push the load and everything but this happens so it start he hitting the walls of the cylinder and this is start creating problems and this problem will not create the problem of the oil consumption because it is damaging the of the walls of the cylinder and that's the reason why you gotta prevent that. I don't like when people do that when they actually go in the uh, parking structures in high gears. You have to low the gears, please lower it because that is not professional at all. And the engine won't suffer any problems right away. The engine won't be damaged right away. The problem will happen one or two years later. Probably you as an owner operator, you drive your truck well and then this problem happens then you getting a lot of oil consumption probably you say i drive my, my i drive my truck pretty well i drive it pretty well i don't i don't do that i do uh drop the gears if i need to i don't uh, drive my truck on six gears i mean like on this number six or on high range in, in low rpms i don't do that but the previous owner of the truck probably did something like that and that's the reason why you're paying the consequences because this problem doesn't happen right away this problem happens over the time and that's the reason why we have this truck over here with around like 800,000 miles with this problem and uh, I mean uh, usually the cylinder breaks from the bottom but in this case is not the case it is just then it is completely wide open the wear of the cylinder is too bad and that's the reason why we have a lot of oil consumption but um, after all, after all this, it is just a closer detail on why this engine went bad this way. Because um, it is important for you to know what was the reason why this uh, engine got uh, damaged. It is not just to replace the parts because you can replace this, you can replace everything. But uh, you have to understand why this happened. And that's why I'm doing these videos like this. So that way you understand why you have to look or probably this could be your uh, uh, reason why uh, the engine is start consuming a lot of oil. Keep in mind that this doesn't mean that it's the only reason why the engine consumes oil. It could be the turbo, it could be uh, the uh, head, it could be something else that has oil, even the uh, air compressor, but it's not common, but it could happen. And, uh, and that's the reason why uh, you have to understand that it is not the only reason, but it is a very common reason, yes. It happened to any engine, it doesn't have to be just Detroit, it can happen to a common size sex, it can happen to a Packard, to a Max Force. If you don't uh, understand something that I did, I say over here, you can go to the comments and ask anything. You can uh, ask me anything about this video, you can... Uh, answer uh, uh you can ask me any doubts and you have this video something that i didn't actually say on this video and uh, that way i can answer it or if you know the answer of these um questions that someone else has you can actually uh use the comment section too to answer all those questions that other people have so that way we can help each other to do these videos more informative than uh, whatever I'm doing at this moment. That way you can learn something. I can learn something from you too. If you wanna send some kind of support to my channel, you can check the video description where I have details how to send support to my channel so I can continue making helpful videos for everybody. I think I want to learn more about these trucks, about these engines, about problems specifically. I want to do more videos about problems like this. And also, if you like this way I'm doing these videos, you can comment too. You can comment uh, your uh, opinions on how I'm doing this video. Probably you like it, probably not. But you have to leave those comments so that way I know what I'm doing. Uh, and that's all just like the video very important subscribe to the channel that's important as well share it other people have to know on how the problems of these trucks are and thank you for watching